set to hire Steven Silas as head coach, according to our own Adrian Wojnarowski. Silas was a finalist for this job in 2016 when Houston hired Mike D'Antoni. Silas has nearly two decades of NBA assistant coaching experience, most recently under Rick Carlisle with the Mavs. He's the son of longtime NBA coach Paul Silas. So, Max, how should Harden and Westbrook feel about Silas? I think the only thing they can feel is hopeful. He's paid his dues. He earned his job. He got the job. They have a lot of talent. Stephen A., you, you complain, and, and by the way, an assistant under Carlisle, it's a good thing to be. You, you complain that what the issue is ball movement on that team. I think anyone going into that job is probably going to feel the same thing. They're not going to coach exactly the way D'Antoni coached. But D'Antoni and Maury left an interesting blueprint without a big – Westbrook really can get to the paint. He doesn't need to be throwing up threes. There's a blueprint of stuff that works and stuff that maybe needs to be improved upon, and he's getting a shot. If I were them, I'd feel hopeful. They should feel hopeful. This is a guy that waited 20 years for this opportunity. Um, he's a good dude. He's a smart basketball guy. A lot of people felt he should have got the job ahead of Dan Tony a few Thank years you, ago yeah. in Houston. Uh, his father was a good man, always good to me. Um, the bottom line is I'm happy he got this opportunity. My only reservation is that you got a rookie head coach walking into a situation with two of the most stubborn stars you can find. James Harden, to me, is uh, just hes just a magician offensively. He's big time. It's hard to ask him to change when he's averaging 30-plus a game. Russell Westbrook is the most athletic point guard in NBA history, a perennial all-star, and just the ultra-ultimate competitor, but incredibly, incredibly stubborn. How much are you going to modify their game is the question mark. I don't know the answer to that question, but I love the fact that Steven Silas is getting this opportunity. And he has two stars who want to win. How much success do you project under Silas? Well, he's what? going to get to the playoffs. He's going to win 50 plus games. Well, at least 50 is 72 games instead of 82. So he's going to have 48 to 50 games he'll win. The question is about them. What are you going to do postseason time? Because if he wasn't going to do anything postseason, there was no Looks reason like for second round playoff and Daryl Morey to be gone. There was no reason for them to be gone if you ain't trying to win in the postseason. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, and it's I think been Darryl Morey fun. Can win in the Thanks so much, everyone, for hanging with us. Max Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.